This video, we're going to talk about five things that we wish we could redo in our cargo conversion. Well, we recently did do a redo on the rear kitchen area because we bought a gasoline inverter generator, cut the shelf in there and raised one side of the rear shelf in the rear kitchen in the trailer so the inverter would fit underneath. One of the, the main thing I have some regrets about because I could still accomplish it is I'd like to do more with the electrical in there, like cigarette lighter type outlets inside the trailer to plug devices in that you would normally plug into your vehicle. I'd also like to have had more outlets in there than what I put in. I didn't really initially think that I was going to have a need for so many outlets. That. It's funny when you do this and then start using it for a while and then you're like, ah, oh, why did we do this? Or we should have done that so that's I guess everyone goes through that yeah, and the worst part of it is I can kick myself because I had thoughts about adding more in the way of electrical during the construction process, and I just deemed that it wasn't necessary, that it was merely adding to the expense and it was overkill. And sometimes you don't think just, you know, you think it's a minor inconvenience. It turns out over time becoming a major in inconvenience or it becomes a source of aggravation. But I would like to have a dimming capability and have more light fixtures in there than what I have now. I wish that we had a bigger Rick, trailer. This one's up. just too little. We need to get little. that filming done. Well, ever she's got this YouTube channel, she's become so impatient and bossy. No, seriously. I really wish we had a seven foot wide trailer only because of the way we sleep. Since he's almost six foot and he likes to sleep with his arms behind his head, a seven foot wide trailer would have been way better for that. So we usually sleep the other way, which means the bed's not quite long enough. Our feet hang off. We pull a little thing over that its feet hangs on. We put the refrigerator up in the front on the floor because I wanted to maximize the counter space. But the reality of it is I could have built the microwave in up above in one of the cabinet spaces up there and moved the refrigerator up and I would have lost some overhead cabinet space, but that would have gained me a base cabinet the size of that refrigerator, which would be far more space than what I would have lost if I had no overhead cabinets in the front. I could have put like a four drawer base unit in there or three drawer base unit in there, which I think ultimately would have given us uh, more storage. I wish we had storage under the couch. With the design that we have right now, just bear in mind that the only time that that storage would be accessible is when the bed is closed and in the couch position because once it's out, you can't reach back to get to the storage area. Most of our camping is just weekend trips. You don't have to have that much in the way of clothing. You don't have to haul that much in the way of food. We use the outdoor kitchen, so we're not really even most of our cookware in the trailer. We're using it in the back in that kitchen. The storage accessible only from the rear to me isn't that horrible or problematic. But I would like to at least take one side now and make that one big drawer, high drawer, slides out so that I can get to anything in it without having to like remove a tote and then another tote. Do you have anything else, things that we would redo? Well, when you say redo, do you mean with this particular show or just things that we would put in a different trailer? No, in this build. In this build, there's, there's really nothing major that needs to be redone. And the things that I've talked about, there are ways that I can improve both the 12 volt and the 120 volt electric in that trailer over time. There are ways that I can address the lighting and I've already done that. We've put some in-cabinet lighting in that's just battery operated. So I would recommend before you build to really look at videos, um, look online, look and see what you want and what is really most practical for you. Look, we're happy with what we have. It's, you know, we used to tent camp, so this is really, really a step above. Our camper's tiny, but the best addition we ever bought for our camping experience has been this instant canopy. And then we bought walls for it to make an enclosed tent and that gives us so much space that is amazing best product we ever bought for our camping experience
Thanks for watching and please remember to like, share and subscribe if you like our videos.